you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today I'm going to be going over a lineup update. So, as you guys know, Weekend League officially opened yesterday. I actually have not played a single game yet. So, I'm going to be showing you guys the lineup I'll be taking into Weekend League because I know a lot of you guys have been asking, who should I get? Who, who do you recommend? So, pretty much my team, what I have, is pretty much what I recommend. But I'll go over like a position or two that I'd like to upgrade out that I just haven't yet. But for the most part, that kind of covers. Now, guys, guys, we are at 46 K subscribers. We're at 4,600 subscribers. You guys killed yesterday. We went up 600 yesterday, just about. If you guys could so kindly, every one of you, we're hitting 5K tonight. I believe in you guys. We need 400 more. Everyone watching this video, and I mean every last one of you, I don't care who you are, go down below, smash the sub button. Let's get us to 400 by tomorrow. Also, turn on the noti bell to get notified every time I post the video. You won't regret it. And let's like the video. Let's get this video to 100 likes. I know it's a lineup update. I know it's a little different. I also plan to start doing, I might do a weekend league gameplay or two, so go to the community section. I posted a um, community post. Like the thing, if I get enough likes on that, I know you guys want them, I'll do a gameplay. And also comment down below what you think I should upgrade and what you think I'm missing from my team. Now, guys, let's get into this. All right, boys, so starting off the left tackle position, we got Joe Staley. You pick up from yesterday. I don't know why I'm starting from the offensive line. I'm being kind of a weirdo. I don't know. I kind of felt like keeping my defense last. But anyways, his stats are insane. If you, have, if you need a left tackle right now, I highly recommend Joe Staley. I had Joe. I had Trent Williams, but he wasn't really cutting it for me. He was really good. But when I saw Joe Staley's stats, there was just no in between. I mean... Trent Williams had a slightly better pass block, slightly, but Joe Staley's run blocking with the way I plan to abuse Weekend League with Marcus Allen, there was just no debate. Now going on to the left guard, we got Andrew Norwell, an OG from day one, you guys already know Andrew Norwell. See, I did want to kind of upgrade to Ali Marpet, but I kind of have him powered up, so I don't really want to lose that, but Andrew Norwell gets the job done, don't speak too much about him. Jason Kelsey, another OG day one, not much to say about him. He's a good center, he's good at run block, that's all I really care about for um, the Marcus Allen show. But you guys have seen him already too, so let's keep moving it on. Now it's a right guard. We got Larry Allen. I don't know if he was around the first time, but trust me, Larry Allen is a monster. I run inside zone right behind Larry Allen's butt cheeks, and I go right through to the end zone every time. Marcus Allen is glitchy, and Larry Allen definitely helps with that. Now going over to right tackle to complete this line, we picked up Lane Johnson. Lane Johnson is a fan favorite every year. He's got 83 pass block, 85 pass block power, 83 pass block finesse. 85 run block, 83 run block power, and 82 run block finesse. Now, the beauty of this card is the speed. He's 75 speed, 82 excel. So when I run pit, if you can run Marcus Allen with pin and pull with Lane Johnson, it's, pro it's probably GG. I don't know. I haven't tried it yet, but I've, I've have a, I have a feeling that it would work very well. Now, let's go over to tight end. We got George Kittle. You guys already know. Kittle's always the glitchy tight end. His catching's okay, but it's just speed I love. When I do out, I do a lot of routes that are out routes for my tight end or seam routes, and nothing's worse than having a slow tight end that can't do any of that because he's too slow. I don't like possession tight ends. I like to use everyone like a wide receiver, but Kittle's nice. Didn't cost too much to get. Now, going with the fullback, I do have Sherman right now. I do I only use him for his 87 lead block, but I do plan to get that new one that came out in the Ravens. I don't want to say his name wrong. Is it Pat? It's a Patrick. Is it Demarco? It might be the Bills. I don't really know. But he's on the Ravens. He has a really, really good block. I'll probably pick him up soon. Now over to the halfback. I got three of them. I got Saquon, Philip Lindsay, and Marcus Allen. Saquon doesn't play too much. It's more so Lindsay's the backup, and Marcus Allen's our starter. Marcus Allen is a god. He's a god amongst men. I assure you, he is. He is hands down. Hands down the glitchiest card I've ever used in a single video game ever. He's the glitchiest thing I've ever been able to use in the game ever. But again, he's only that good with the freight train and evasive on him. So if you're going to get him, I recommend him. Now on to the next card at quarterback. We got Patty Mahomes and Patty Mahomes. So Pat Mahomes, awesome stats. I don't pass too much. I, I really don't. If you guys saw my um, my tweets, I literally, or what I said in the last video, I literally end up games with like five passing yards with Pat Mahomes and 380 rushing yards with Marcus Allen. That's kind of how my game's been going lately. It's just too simple to do, so why not do it? But he does have some awesome abilities, which is why I like him. He has safety valve, which makes him better at throwing to the running back. Anchored extender, which I don't really know. And red zone dead eye, which means he passes perfect accuracy in the end zone, which I need because I do a lot of high point red zone passes. So for that reason alone is why I have him. I mean, I don't really pass too much yet, but I'll, I'll get a passing game going. Now, start off with the strong safety. We got Ken Houston. Ken Houston is a safety blanket. That's all he is. He has 88 speed and 87 zone. So I trust him to zone. And if and if another guy can't zone, I trust him to get to the breakaway plays where guys get open. And he's got 86 hit power, so he might even lay the boom. 
That's why I have Ken Houston. You always need a really fast, strong safety. Or at least free safety, which uh, free safety is all time. So he's more of a lockdown for me. And then I would 91 zone, 90 play rec. But he's a little bit on the slower side. So then Ken Houston's the opposite side. Um, safety valve. Or safety blanket, I should say. Now, Errol Thomas is a little slow for me. But he is kind of lock if you guys see that. 91 zone, 90 man, uh, play rec. It puts his hit power and keeper slightly higher. That's not horrible. It's probably, he's probably more temporary. He won't be long term. His stats are always kind of underwhelming. Now, cornerback, got Jalen Ramsey, Byron Jones, and Marshall Lattimore. So this is where I really need help. So Jalen Ramsey is definitely go. He's, he's good to go. He's lock. He's a monster. He's got his abilities on him. Now, what I needed to know is I'm definitely going to get rid of these two. Marshall Lattimore is kind of bad. His coverage isn't too good. I thought it'd be a little better, but he's so he's so fast, but it doesn't feel like it. Boom. When he's tackling, he feels like he catches up to people, but his zone, he's always getting burned around because he can't cover. Now, Byron Jones is actually, he's pretty good, but in my opinion, he's been on the slower side. I think I want Mel Blunt. Or Pat Pete. I haven't decided yet. Pat Pete's not as good as Byron Jones, though. But if there was a mutt here with Pat Pete, which I'm kind of banking on. But that's about it for cornerback. If you guys have any recommendations for cornerback, comment down below what you guys think. Because I need to change that up. Right outside linebacker, we got Jadavion Clown. He's a monster. Have you ever seen him on the field? He's six foot five. He literally looks like a created player. Like He looks like a, a most feared card when they grow on a Halloween night. I don't have to say much. His stats don't look too good. But then trust me, he plays He plays better than a stats show. At middle linebacker, we got Shazier and Bobby Wagner. You know, I always plan to sell Wagner whenever they get around to it. He's a very expensive middle linebacker backup. His stats don't show it, but he's amazing. I go well, no, his, shot, his stats do show it. His speed doesn't show it. But trust me, he lays the boom. He gets picks. He's always in the zone. And he tends to any stuffs runs. So that's all I need him for a backup linebacker. And Shazier. Shazier is insane. I love Ryan Shazier. I get like at least a one to two user picks a game with him. I force fumbles with him. I'm in the zone with him. I catch everything. Like, I love Shazier. Two years in a row. Very, very steady user. Now, outside linebacker, we got Khalil Mack. This probably won't stay. I do intend to get that Von Miller pretty soon. After weekend league and some seasons, I think I'll get him that trophies by next week. And Von Miller, Khalil Mack's insane. But yeah, you guys already seen him. I'm not going to go over him too much. But trust me, I want that Von Miller. I hear that he's godly. That's all I hear is that he's literally one of the best cards in the game. Now, at defensive tackle, we got Michael Pierce and David Harrison. I'm not going to speak too much. This is kind of boring. He's a pre-order player. He's my backup. And then Michael Pierce, I just used the power pass on because, like, I had one. And I needed a defensive tackle. Now, the ends. This is the, the bread and butter of my team. My outside linebacker is my ends. So, Aaron Donald right here. Insane. 75 speed. 82 excel. 90 strength. 82 tackle. 89 play rec. 87 block shedding. 89 power moves and 86 finesse moves. Now, Aaron Donald. He might not get the most sacks. So that's a little max job. But if you run near him, he has reach elite. He is grabbing you to the ground. He bull rushes to the quarterback. He forces pressure. He does everything right. He, like, he plays his position perfectly. He does everything that he needs to do. Now at left end, we got Reggie White. He's like my opposite side, Aaron Donald. Same exact speed. He's got 90 strength, 89 tackle, 91 play rec, 90 block shedding, 90 power move, and 83 finesse. If I put on another, if I come up one more time with another tier, he'll have 90 tackling. He'll have 90, 90, 90, 90, 90. He'll have five, five 90 stats. That's insane. He's an awesome card. Now guys, let me show you the lineup overview as a whole so you guys can get an idea now that it's all one together. So the offense is looking nice. It's an 87 overall, I believe, both ends. So I, I want to get to an 88, which I'll probably get done by Weekend League Rewards. So the O-line's looking nice. The only upgrade I could probably do is a better center, but I don't even think they have a better center yet. George Kittle, looking just fine. I need another backup tight end, to be honest with you. Wide receivers are good. I do kind of want to get rid of Tyreek Hill. I don't know, I'm not feeling him. I think I'd rather Odell. Odell's, in my opinion, Tyreek Kill's not as glitchy this year. Odell is going to have the same speed, but he's going to have way better catch. And Tyreek Hill's not a wide receiver. He's just, he's like putting a running back at wide receiver. But in my, it's, it's whatever. It's whatever. It's, it's my unpopular opinion. So the offense is looking good. Now to the defense, I love looking at my defense. We are stacked around the board. We got Earl Thomas, Clowney, Shazier, Mack, Ken Houston, Byron, Reggie White, Harrison Pierce, Donald, Lattimore, and Jalen. If we could just fix up these two cornerback slots, slots, the two cornerback slots, we'd be just fine. Oh, I forgot my kicker, the most important part. Trey Way and Graham Gano. So, that's about it for the team, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Also, quick advice. Uh, always make sure to go to third down running back and power running back and put your starting running back because a lot of people have been asking me why is my backup playing. Also, make sure to go here and turn on your X-Factor abilities because if you don't, they will not work. I, pray, I plan to make a separate video on that whole thing if anyone gets confused. But, guys, that's about it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have been enjoying the content. And if you're new... Destroy the sub button. Let's get us to 5K by tonight. We're at 4.6 right now. I know you guys can do it. 400 more. Everyone, you go down and sub. Turn on the notification bell to get notified every time I post. Make sure to smash the like button. Let's get 100 likes in this video, considering it's a lineup update. And comment down below what you think I need to improve on or what I should change for my team. 
and I greatly appreciate that level of feedback. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you in the next video. Peace.